Hi, I'm Leif Claesen, the creator of the Omnia 9, and today I'm going to show you uh, one of the many features of the Omnia 9. So if we go now again to primary program, FM processing, uh, this is where you would adjust, for example, the multiband attack and release. Here's these sliders, and every slider can be adjusted directly just by pointing and dragging. And they're accelerated, so if you drag really slowly, you make fine adjustments, and as you can see, you can, actually, uh, uh, you can actually drag way outside the slider as long as you keep holding it. They're accelerated, so now if I want to bring it all the way down, there it is. If you want finer control than this, you can double tap on a slider and um, you get two much bigger representations where the top one is the, um, is the uh, course control which allows, uh, allows you to easily set it and, uh, it's, uh, and, it, and it tracks along exactly with your fingers. And uh, the bottom one is the, um, is the precision control which tracks along more slowly. Uh, but for now, let's look at the displays. If I click on one of the displays, that takes me to the display settings. And as we see here, on display one, we have the undo meters. On display two, we have the processing meters. Let's say that on display three, which is currently off, we'd like to watch an oscilloscope. There's the oscilloscope. And um, right now, it's looking at the program input left channel. That's the, the input, whatever you're feeding the box. And right now what we're feeding it is a really loud CD. Uh, let's look at the MPX output instead, which is one of the audio sets. Here's the MPX output. Now let's turn off these two, uh, these two displays so that we can see this bigger one more clearly. I will click on it and go to off. And then we click on the meters and we go to off. And then we can pull the divider down a bit. So now we see it. Right now, we're looking at the oscilloscopes set up to show the left and right program input. This is not even the worst example I've ever seen, but it's pretty bad. It's clipping virtually the whole time. There's no dynamics whatsoever, because uh, in a dynamic song, you'd see the oscilloscope, you'd see there'd be peaks and valleys and some short-term dynamics and punch. This song is completely devoid of it. Uh, well, the song in particular is the Donna's Take It Off, but um, this is almost every song nowadays. Uh, this song is from 2003. So, to show how that, how that works, let's look at uh, these meters that are previous to set up. Here we see the left channel before the, the, as it comes in, before the declipper, and uh, the green line is the detected declipping threshold. This oscilloscope shows post after that's after the declipper uh, notice how it actually restores the peaks it's not just a simple line interpolation such as just well drawing uh, drawing a smooth line from one end uh, one end to the next uh, but in fact in fact it rebuilds all the detail based on what's in between the clipping areas and this really removes the audible distortion and removes the crackling and makes it sound almost like it was properly mastered However, that's not quite enough because in, in CD mastering, they don't, just, they don't just clip the bejesus out of the audio. First, they also compress it until there's virtually no dynamics left. Um, and for that, uh, we have undo. It is a psychoacoustically controlled multiband unprocessor. It detects the amount of, of short-term dynamics and punch in the music, and if there isn't enough, it increases it by way of multiband expansion. Let's take a look at uh, the undo meters uh, in a minute. But first, well, here's the uh, CD input, and then uh, here's after the declipper, and finally here's after the declipper and undo. And you can see all of a sudden you can actually see the drum hits, the uh, the bigger wave that's a uh, waves that's a kick drum, and the waves at about this frequency is the snare drum. All of a sudden, they're standing out, and uh, it, there will be audio clips. Uh, th there are audio clips available uh, on omniaaudio.com/9 uh, for you to listen to the difference before and after. I'm Leif Clayson, creator of Omnia 9, and thank thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>